Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is IP addressing, what are various IPv4 address classes, that is class A, B, C, D and E and then I will explain what is subnetting and what is CIDR, that is classless interdomain routing. I will explain all these topics in detail. Guys, IP stands for Internet Protocol. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network subject tutorials. I will provide that link. In description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Let's first I'll explain what is IP addressing. Guys, IP address is nothing but it is unique number given to each and every device in a network. By using this unique number, sender can send data to receiver. Guys, there are two types of IP addresses. One is IPv4 address and next one is IPv6 address. IP address which has four numbers separated by dots. This is example of IPv4 address. So, this is one number dot number dot number dot number. So, there are four numbers separated with dots. This is example of IPv4 address. Yes, for example, this computer want to send data to this computer in internet. So, whenever this computer want to send data to this computer, so along with data, this computer need to enter IP address of this computer. For example, this computer IP address is 192.168.0.2. So, along with data, this computer need to include IP address of this computer. So, data will be reached to this computer based on this IP address. Yes, normally we can assign IP address to each and every device manually. Or there is one server called DHCP server, where DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. This server will automatically give IP address to each and every device. So, IP address can be given manually or automatically. We can do it manually or there is a server called DHCP server. It can assign IP address automatically to each and every device. Yes, for example, there is computer network. This computer IP address is 192.168.0.1. There are four numbers separated by dots. This is example of IPv4 address, where V4 stands for version 4. This IPv4 address is given to five classes. They are class A, B, C, D and E. I will explain each and every class in detail. In network like internet, communication is possible between devices based on IP addresses. Each and every device contains unique IP address and data will be reached to a particular device based on this IP address. IPv4 address is divided into five classes. And the first one is class A IP address. Yes, class A IP address is used in big networks. Big network is nothing but that network will support 16 million plus devices. But how can we identify that particular computer belongs to class A IP address? For example, let us say this computer IP address is 2.1.1.1. For example, if you consider starting number, that is number 2, this number is in between 1 to 126. If starting number is in between 1 to 126, then we consider it as class A IP address. So, this computer IP address is class A IP address. So, class A IP address ranges from 1 to 127, but we will use only 1 to 126. We do not use 127 because number 127 is used when device want to send data to itself. And second one is class B IP address. Yes, class B IP address is used in medium networks. Medium networks mean we can give class B IP address to approximately 65,000 plus devices and exactly 65,534 devices. We can give IP address to these many devices. Yes, whereas if you consider class A IP address, class A IP address ranges from 1 to 127. And whereas if you consider class B IP address, class B IP address ranges from 128 to 191. So, starting number is from 128 to 191. Yes, for example, in network, this computer IP address is 129.0.0.1. So, starting number is 129. As this range is in between 128 to 191. So, this computer IP address is class B IP address. And second number, third number and fourth number. These numbers can be in between 0 to 225. And third one is class C. Class C IP address is used in smaller networks. Class C will support exactly 254 devices. That is nothing but class C IP address is given to maximum 254 devices. Class B IP address ranges from 128 to 191. And whereas class C IP address ranges from 192 to 223. And next one is class D IP address. Yes, class D is used for group communication. That is nothing but multicasting. Multicasting means if one computer want to send data to many devices at once, 
Then this computer need to use class G IP address. Class G IP address ranges from 224 to 239. So starting IP address ranges from 224 to 239. And second, third, fourth. These numbers can be in between 0 to 225. So class D is used for group communications for sending data to many systems at once. And next one is class E IP address. Guys, normally no one will use class E IP address. Class E IP address ranges from 240 to 255. Regular device will not use this IP address. This IP address is reserved for future and research use. Yet just you can remember these numbers. So 1, 128, 128 mean here you need to reduce to 127. And similarly 192. 192 mean here you need to reduce to 191. And similarly here 224. 224 mean here 223. Next to 240. 240 mean here 239. And here till 255. This is class A, B, C, D and E IP address. This one is for big networks, medium networks, small networks, group communications, that is nothing but multicasting and for future use. Next I will explain what is subnetting. Name itself says subnet, that is nothing but subnetwork. Subnetting means dividing a big network into smaller networks called subnets. As for example, let us say there is college. Instead of making complete college as single network, this entire college network is divided into four subnetworks. IT department is one subnetwork. CSE is one subnetwork, AML is one network, and DS is one subnetwork. So, dividing big network into smaller networks called subnets. There are four subnets. If we divide big network into smaller networks, then security and performance increases. So, subnet is used to divide departments like HR, IT, accounts, etc., which will reduce network traffic, and we can manage IP addresses efficiently. Security increases, and IP addresses will not be wasted. These are advantages of subnet. Guys, each and every IP address has two parts. One is network part and next one is host part. Browsing network part, we can identify network. Where network part will show main network. And whereas browsing host part, we can identify device in the network. So host part is used to identify individual devices within the network. I will give an example. For example, in college there is CSC department. These are various systems in CSC department. Network part is used to identify network. This is a network part. Using network part, we can identify network. As all devices belong to single network, this network part will not change. So network part is used to identify network. And whereas by using host part, we can identify device in network. This is host part. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is host part. Host part contains unique numbers, which will not change. By using these numbers, communication is possible between devices. Next, what subnetting will do is, subnetting will borrow some bits from host part. And then it will make smaller networks. I'll give an example. Yes, for example, let us say there is a software company network which is using class C, where class C has 256 IP addresses. For example, range is from 192.168.1.0 to 192.168.1.255. As all devices belong to same network, this network part will not change. And 0 to 255. Total there are 256 IP addresses. Out of 256 IP addresses, we will not use first IP address that is 192.168.1.0 and similarly, we will not use last IP address that is 192.168.1.255 that is nothing but we will not give these two IP addresses to any devices. In between this, from 192.168.1.12, 192.168.1.254 till here, we can give IP address to various devices. That's first IP address that is 192.168.1.0. This IP address is used to show name of the network. So we will not give this IP address to any device. And whereas last IP address that is 192.168.1.255. This 255 number that is used for broadcasting. Broadcasting is nothing but if one device want to send data to all the devices in the network, then that computer need to use this IP address. So out of 256, 254 devices are supported. Example, there is big network where IP address ranges from 192.168.1.0 to 192.168.1.191. So from 0 to 191. Now company want to divide this big network into three subnets. So one subnet is given range that is 192.168.1.0 to 192.168.1.0. 63. For example, this is one subnet range till here 63. Next subnet range is from 
192.168.1.64 to 192.168.1.127 second subnet range and from 128 so 192.168.1.128 to 192.168.1.191 guys as we know we will not use first IP address and last IP address first IP address will show network name and whereas the last IP address is used for broadcasting so we will not use first IP address and last IP address so usable range is from 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.62 and similarly this one 192.168.1.129 to 190 1.190 these are usable ip addresses and whereas first one and last one we will not use this ip addresses this is all about subnetting next i will explain what is cider where cider stands for classless inter domain routing guys by using cider we can use class a class b and class a ip addresses more efficiently so cider is a way to assign ip addresses in a more flexible way than a whole system class a b c ip addresses cider uses slash to show how many bits are used for the network part of the ip address and the remaining bits are for devices that is nothing but remaining devices are for host part in the network generally ipv4 address is made up of 32 bits i'll give one example that's normally will give ip address like 192.168.1.1 for example but here i am using cider so I'll include here slash 24. As we know, IP address contains 32 bits. So whenever we give this IP address for a particular device, that is 192.168.1.1 slash 24. So 24 mean 24 bits are used for network part, and whereas remaining 8 bits and remaining 8 bits are given to host part. Network part is used to identify network, and whereas host part is used to identify device in the network. IPv4 contains 32 bits. Out of 32 bits, 26 bits are given to network part and remaining 6 bits are used for device in the network.